I can't help it. I've been making this cocktail for a couple months. I make it often. This is called the Undead Gentleman. It's a perfect winter tiki type cocktail, although I did make it a lot this summer. Hi there, everybody. My name is Anne and I am the home bartender. This is a great time, by the way, to hit the like button and the subscription button because subs are free and so are likes and I love them. So let's get right to the tasting notes. It's spicy, it's caramely, it has an absinthe rinse and you just kind of get a skiff of that. It's very, very, very light in the background. It's not a dry cocktail. It has a little bit of pith flavor throughout, but um, it's really, really light. Uh, that could be from the lime and the grapefruit notes here, you know, from the oils on the swaths here. It's got cinnamon syrup in it, but that's what's interesting. That's not super prominent in the cocktail. Um, I expected it to be prominent the first time I made it, but I think with the falernum, which gives it a nice island spice, uh, that those two things work really good together, but I'll use a black blended overproof rum and that's pretty powerful. It works well with the cinnamon toning it down a little bit. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Appleton Estates rum. So I chose that today, giving this a really nice caramel finish. It's really potent for sure, but it has a great evolution. It's perfect for the holidays and for fall all the way through the holiday season, really. So let me show you how I made it and go over the ingredients with you coming up next. I really, really do encourage you to make this cocktail. It's very, very good. So let's get to making it and I'll show you what to do. We need to rinse a little coupe here with a little bit of absinthe. This recipe calls for absinthe blanc, but all I have is green, so that's what I'm using. I think it's fine. The licorice uh, is very, very light in the background, So, but I love black licorice. You could skip this part if you wanted to, but why not try it? You might like it. Who knows? Your taste buds may have changed if you don't like black licorice. So half an ounce of cinnamon syrup. I'm going to use the 504 Happy Raptors Praline Syrup um, today. It's a great substitute for cinnamon syrup, and I think it's really good, and it keeps for a long time in the refrigerator, so why not use it? So then we have a half an ounce of Velvet Falernum. The bottle's almost empty. Half an ounce of lime juice. Half an ounce of grapefruit juice. I did fresh squeeze this today. Um, the recipe also says it doesn't really matter whether it's white or red, you can use either one. We have the booze. So I've got um, OFTD here. The recipe does ask for Hamilton's 151 overproof, but I do like the flavor of this a little bit better. So I'm going to go with that today. One ounce. All right, an ounce and a half of blended aged rum. I'm using Appleton 8 Reserve today, but I have made this with Real McCoy 5. I like Appleton just a little bit better because it has more of a caramel flavor. Um, and with that overproof, I think it's gonna complement the cocktail a bit more. So an ounce and a half. All right, next up is one dash of Angostura bitters. Um, I literally just figured this out. You probably already knew this, but if you hold it like this and grab it and then squirt it in there with intention, you're probably just going to get one, uh, one jig. Otherwise, it's not like hot sauce. You know, it, this stuff comes out really fast. So I do it like this. Let's shake this up with a little bit of ice here. Let's get it into our coop. A little grapefruit swath. I'm going to put that on the edge and a little lime swath. I'll put that on the edge. Hopefully it'll stay. And that's the undead gentleman. I think this is going to be a great cocktail to carry you through the whole holiday season. It's warm. It's a really great sipper. And I actually think it's going to be really good um, as an addition to any kind of holiday meal. People will really love the Undead Gentleman. And I know that's kind of weird to say, but uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, have you tried the Undead Gentleman? And tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you make it. Put a picture over there of the cocktail. I, I really love that. And I will answer your comments. I really do like to interact with all of you. So don't be shy. 
uh, comment and join the fun. And if you know somebody that would enjoy this cocktail and you could pass my channel on to someone you think might really like it, it helps the channel grow and it's really quite a compliment to me. So thank you in advance. That's it, folks. Enjoy yourself an undead gentleman, and I'll see you next week. I'll have another seasonal cocktail suggestion for you then. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. See you next Friday. Be well. Enjoy yourself an undead gentleman. And still, that's really weird to say. <laughs>